What's up y'all, it's your girl Breen from Stay Snatched and I'm back with another Trader Joe's haul. It is second week of November. Don't think that I've hauled anything since October and there's so much new stuff out there. Um, they were putting out all of the Thanksgiving stuff. Turkeys actually just arrived today um, in the stores and then there was just so much stuff. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Um, I typically normally get my greens and green veggies from Costco. I like to get them in bulk, but I just need something to hold me over for a few days because your girl is going on vacation, but I've been binging Caesar salads lately, so I need something to hold me over until I get there. Um, I got three of these apple cider um, hand soaps. There's probably two in the other bags back there. I'm going to be hosting for Thanksgiving. So I think that these will just be a nice little compliment to have in the guest bathrooms of my house. I also got this, what is it? Ultra moisturizing hand cream trio. It looks like a gift. So it's great for gift giving. Um, I get all of the hand creams there. They usually have a different scent of hand creams for every season. I know in the summer it was, um, a strawberry lemon maybe and then I know there's like a ginger one for fall but this one has coconut marula I'm not sure what that is and avocado scented and so I'm just gonna give this away as a gift I got a few jars of these marinated artichokes they're only like $2.29 and again this is because of my Caesar salad binge and artichokes aren't on a traditional Caesar salad, but I love these. They have so much flavor. So I've been putting them on mine and because they're shel shelf stable, I decided to just load up because I go through those really quickly if I eat a couple of salads a day. I also got this brown butter. It says it's 100% butter with a slightly nutty flavor. And so I'm really picky about brown butter. I know a lot of people love to put brown butter on a lot of different things, but I love like brown butter carrots. I'm actually thinking about making my banana bread recipe and using this in it. But essentially what brown butter is, is just butter with a little bit more flavor. If you were to cook it on your stove, it just, you cook the butter longer and you allow it to caramelize, which infuses more flavor into the butter. So I grabbed some of this. And I don't think that I have, oh, I do have my receipt, y'all. So I can see how much some of these items were. The brown butter was $5.99. That's actually a lot. 100% butter. Oh, maybe because it's that real deal. It's uh, $5.99. I knew the artichokes were $2. I want to say that these hand soap things were $2 as well. This was $7.99 little pricey for but it's a gift so you cannot judge the prices on gifts um i got this italian wine cannot pronounce that it says 2020 um, it was on display one of their featured wines this week and it looks like it's a red wine blend um i got a few more bottles of red wine back there they are all blends a couple of them are actually really oaky so i'm trying to really get the oak flavor in now that it's a fall um got me some real parmesan reggiano cheese if you watch my costco hauls i talk a lot about parmesan cheese and getting uh the real thing this says product of italy that's something that you want to look for i normally get this at costco this one was six bucks pretty small so their price is 14.99 a pound this is for this is a fourth of a pound almost a half a pound i can't talk today so this is almost a half a pound it was six dollars i normally get the big one from costco for like 17 or 18 but again i'm going out of town soon i'm trying to not get things in bulk at costco so i need this for my caesar salads so that is there and then i've been dying to try this baked lemon ricotta cheese it says it's a delightful sweet and a tart combination of ricotta and lemon so it kind of tastes like it's going to taste like dessert, but I'm super excited to try that. How much was that cheese? This was $4.94. Oh, it's right on here. So they sell it by the pound. It's $12.99 a pound. This little small piece was $5. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so this is the bag with all of the wine. Then they had these candles. It says this classic ivory pillar candle 
it's simple and elegant. It's a simple and elegant addition to any decor. So it's smokeless and dripless. It's made with hand poured paraffin and a single cotton wick and the burn time is 80 hours. So this is also unscented. What I'm gathering is that this is just going to be a festive like candle. If you have Christmas decorations, uh, this will fit perfectly and it's smokeless and but it'll burn for 80 hours. So it'll probably last you the entire holiday season. You don't have to worry about any dripping. Here's my additional apple cider scented hand soaps that I knew that I had gotten. Another wine, this one says dark waves, red wine. So um, unless you're new around here, I don't really like sweet wines. I always go for things that are dry and full bodied. Uh, lots of wine. I was stocking up because one, I was out of red wine and two, it's the holiday season. I'm gonna be doing some hosting. I need to have, you know, things ready to go. For the folks and also wine is going to pair really well with that cheese so this one it just says the ugly red blend i literally only got it because it had a cute little well ugly little festive sweater on there then this one i want to say this was the same no rain cloud and then this one this is the roasted oak red blend that's been aged in french oak so just some dry reds that I'm thinking will be great for the holiday season. And then everyone has been talking about trying this wine infused seesaw grinder. It's with rosé, pink peppercorns, and rosemary. How much was that? I got a lot of stuff on here, y'all. It's hard for me. This was $4.99 that's all we have there okay so just a few more items got these scented pine cones these were like two or three dollars oh my god they actually do smell really good um i was thinking about just using them for decor because these look really great on a tablescape but these may go into the bathrooms <laughs> here to, you know give them just a little natural smell in there i was super excited about these olive wood spoons these were like 2.99 i want to say Oops, tag came off and so they all have like these different designs on them and they're just really good quality so the really the terrible thing about wooden spoons is that sometimes you'll use those and within a few uses, you know, they're starting to kind of disintegrate and just not look good. Um, if you have like the olive oil cutting board from Trader Joe's, these will pair, pair really well and uh, it's the exact same quality. So I was super excited to get a few of these. You'll definitely be seeing these in my recipe videos. And then again, because I'm hosting the holiday season, Got to be on some rich auntie vibes. So I got these double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoons with uh, mini marshmallows. And so this is just so, well, I'm sure adults are going to make them too. But I got these so that the kiddos can make some hot chocolate. And it looked kind of cute, looked kind of fun for them. And that's it, y'all. That's all I got this haul. Um, a lot of festive holiday stuff, not a lot of fresh stuff um or fruits or things like that because i'm leaving town did want to update you guys on a couple of items from previous hauls that i'm just remembering i didn't tell you guys about um remember that cheese seasoning um thing <laughs> i can't remember what it's called but it's uh it's in the spice aisle and it's labeled cheese i thought that it would be great for popcorn i put on popcorn it is pretty good for popcorn it doesn't really taste like cheese to me it tastes more like italian seasoning so as i was eating the popcorn it just kind of tastes like a nice flavored italian pizza which isn't a bad thing but it didn't taste like cheese which actually may be a good thing because you really can't replicate the flavor of cheese. It's either fake or it's real, like, you know, real cheese or not. Nah. So I'm actually kind of relieved that it didn't taste like cheese, but also I don't think that it tastes like cheese. Um, I think that's all I have to update you guys on. So I'm sure once I'm back and in full swing for sure, sure, for real, for real, for the holiday season, I'll have more hauls for you guys to check out. So stay tuned.